Yo, yeah, what's up guys? We recently took a trip out to Colorado on a road trip. It was a lot of driving. Here's the footage from the trip. We're about to leave for a road trip. We're going out to Colorado. So we're leaving tonight to go to Vegas. Run amok in Vegas for the night. Run amok. Could you picture me running amok in Vegas? I, I can't picture it. And then we're going to stay the night in Vegas and make our way over to Colorado. So yeah. I haven't been on a road trip in a couple of years. So I'm really keen to go road tripping into America. Wish us luck. drive wasn't too bad over here. Four hour drive here was like comparison to two hours LA traffic, so it wasn't that bad. Put up at the first hotel we were gonna stay at and it was just not the vibe. And so we booked another place and- uh, It's not the vibe. It's not the vibe either. <laughs> These doors apparently go to the room next door. Same with this, so I've, I've uh, my security system I've set up here. And we've got a really, really sick view from our room of uh, a wall and some palm trees. And then that castle over there. I haven't been to Vegas ever. I went, I came to Vegas when I was like four years old, but that doesn't count. So I wanted to come here and experience it as an adult. And uh, you probably would have invested more in like a nicer room. Yeah, we're only here for a night. Longer. We're only here for a night, then we're off to Colorado. So we're just gonna go get some food, hopefully, maybe hit the slaps and then go to bed. <laughs> Twenty bucks is all I'm gonna put in because this is gambling's different in Australia. There's pokies at every pub. I worked hard for this twenty dollars too. <laughs> Here it goes down the drain. How's this one? You want, want it back? I want a little bit of money back. You want one back? We just stopped in Utah, a little place called Elsinore, funny enough. A little, little town, there's a petrol station here and a Carl's Jr. We did the Vegas thing, I didn't like it, it sucked in my opinion. I don't know why people go there. <laughs> Trucking on through to Colorado. So yeah, it's been a lot of desert. And then we've seen some snow just now actually, it's snowing in Utah already, which is pretty exciting. Have a go at this place. This is Utah. This whole area is basically Elsinore here and that's it. Just a little, little old American town off the uh, 70. We're here and this is Elsinore, I guess. Not much to it. it looks like a GTA map. Definitely been trucking. Look at that. Looks like someone spray painted bugs at the front of my car. That's crazy. Lick one. 10 bucks if you lick it. <laughs> He just rode his quad to Carl's Jr's. He's gonna get a burger or petrol or something. Everyone's waving at us and nodding at us and stuff and there's some baby cats. There's a baby cat over there and the mama cat over there. We're in Colorado right now and uh, it's a bit of a change of pace compared to California. We drove from Vegas straight through the night to Colorado. We got here at like 3, 30, 4 in the morning. And uh, yeah, it was a tough drive. And people say, oh, the drive to Colorado is beautiful, but we were driving through the night, so we didn't see anything. Nothing. And um, yeah, definitely a change of pace. People here are a little more, I don't know, not, I really not so the, fast. I haven't gotten the feel yet. For people park like people shit here. Like shit. Notice <laughs> that at Target and at the mall here, people park like absolute dog shit. There's no traffic. And we went into Target and it was like the most quietest Target I've ever been into my life. So I'm keen to see what the mall's like here. I'm gonna go to Zoomies. <laughs> it looks like a cabin. 
The mall feels like a uh, ski lodge. We just finished up at the mall here and um, the inside of the mall looked like a ski lodge. Like there was a bunch of like wooden chairs and like it just looked like you were like in a cozy little ski lodge. But people in Colorado, they have like a really subtle, easy, friendly look to them. Like they're not, compared to Southern California, like there wasn't that many people that were like tattooed and like everyone looked very friendly and like, uh, what's the word for it? Wholesome. Mm. It wasn't like LA where it's like, just like everyone's kind of gnarly. I don't know if that makes sense, but yeah. And the, the young kids around here, like the young teens, the boys, they all they all wear like above the knee shorts, like Australian style shorts. Cause in Australia, everyone wears shorts that are like above the knee. That's the style here. It's a European thing, apparently. back to California from Denver. Right now we're in Grand Junction, Colorado. It's two o'clock and it is so quiet and there's like no one around. Um, it said the population of Grand Junction was like 60,000 people. So I guess that's kind of a small town. My hometown, Campbelltown in Sydney had like a quarter of a million people living there. So yeah, check out how quiet it is. We just pulled over at this uh, little town called Richfield in Utah and there's a cool little prefab here that looks pretty kind of new and uh, there's some interesting features here. There's like half a skateboard there that you can skate on. Look at that. You can skate on that thing. It's a pretty cool prefab. There's a flat bar, a couple of fun boxes, a spine and this mini that looks really nice. It looks like nobody really kind of comes here. Um, maybe like parents bring their kids here on their little scooters and their little bikes and stuff, but there may be like one or two skateboarders that live down this part of Utah, I don't know.
Because there was a curb running kind of all the way around or like around half of it. It's windy. I don't know if you can hear me. Um, the kids here have started to wax it. Just, look. So, the kids here in uh, Richfield, Utah, they know what's up with the slappy, slappy game. Um, yeah, this would be the perfect curb to take a rub brick to and like get it really smooth and lacquer it and wax it. This would be a really nice curb. We're just riding our bikes through this neighborhood here and Richfield, Utah, and uh, yeah, it's crazy. This is like, reminds me of Canberra. What a wholesome neighborhood. Cute little houses, there's colors on the trees, really wide streets. There was a lot more that we did on this trip. I just didn't film much of it because I wanted to kind of take it all in and just enjoy it. First person, we got to hit the hot springs at Glenwood Springs, which was sick. We got to ride this train at St. George, Colorado, obviously. There's some other stuff I'm forgetting because the whole week just turned into like a big compacted blur. And I just wanted to kind of chill and recharge and step away from like, you know, the rat race here in California. So it's been nice to just experience America that isn't California, if that makes sense. I feel like I'm eating my words right now because I absolutely do love it here. It's just nice to see like mountains and trees and color and obviously it's autumn right now so there was a bunch of leaves falling and the whole time it was just a sick vibe. It reminded me a lot of Australia just having that autumn kind of feeling I guess if that makes sense. If you guys are new here what's up my name's Sean. I make YouTube videos obviously about skateboarding and lifestyle stuff I think. There's a sale on an evening mob Dot com right now a lot of stuff is like up to 20% off go and pick something up trying to make some more room for some new stuff coming into winter I want to do some new hoodies and shirts so yeah make sure you go and check it out shouts out to Ben Danko for taking us on that bike ride through Denver that was sick that was a highlight of the trip I reckon um, it's made me want to get a wheelie bike so I'm trying to find a 29er right now that isn't fixed gear so I've been so fixed gear strict for the past 10 years I want to ride a non-fixed gear bike. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was different to my usual skating type of get up, but you know, we went on a road trip. I wanted to film it and have the memories and stuff. So yeah, thank you for watching the video. Make sure you go and check out eveningmob.com and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers. Red, I want you to go to his house. Blow that joint up, don't let nobody out. Oh, get trigger, man, bring him to me cause I'm tired of this trigger man stuff in Tennessee. Now all the time while this stuff is going on, I called up another roadie on my flip phone. Junior, I want you to call down the Texas special order me a man to make a full Mexican. Keep them windows on the junk.